My name is Kimmy McCarry and the Isle of Man has always been home to me. I was born and brought up here right on the seafront in Castletown and would spend hours messing about on the beach. I was very lucky to have been taught by the great Norman Sale and David Fletcher on my art foundation course and I'm delighted to have been given the opportunity by Culture Vanin to realise this project. As an island we are surrounded by the most incredible marine life and my hope is that this piece called Interdependence will draw attention to this. Basking sharks are dependent on plankton for survival and we as an island and world are dependent on each other for survival. We must do all we can to protect the environment and appreciate all the wonders that surround us. It was in the 40s and 50s sort of thing when the cod was here and it's just disappeared. It's anything to do with overfishing, maybe the seawater warming a bit and cod is a cold water fish. Well with small boats like wood hat or sort of thing, a rowing boat you know, you were free to go out and put a lobster pot or two or three out but you're not now. Uh, oh, well, I haven't seen anybody go down the beach or got or cycle on a bike out to like Ness with a crab hook no. battened along the crossbar for years.
starting to go. We wait every year, we start off the off season, it starts off slow, and then the big sign one for is when's the basket sharks called? When are they called? As soon as that basket shark swims past them to the waters, I would say within what, 24 hours? Come on, the sea starts to boom, so we do have a basket shark. is also a lucky point to start the season. Well, well, how many basket sharks do we see this year? Well, I would say, probably, I would say within a week, we've probably seen five, six, seven sites of basket sharks, yeah. You can swim with a basket shark, so yeah, well, there you go. Interesting, you look at the comparison of your boat to the shark. It's, yeah, it just gives you tickles like when you see them, and yeah, they're, they're not a frightening creature, do you know what I mean? Yeah. My name is Fiona Gell and I'm a marine conservationist and I've worked on the Isle of Man for um, about 18 years on various different aspects of, of our marine life. Basking sharks are so important to me, they're such a kind of iconic species um, for marine conservation in the Isle of Man. They're, they're enormous creatures and they have such interesting biology and the research is emerging all the time about how far they can travel, how deep they dive how they interact with each other and it's absolutely fascinating and as a marine biologist I've been really lucky to travel the world and, and see some amazing sites in coral reefs and mangroves and all sorts of amazing things but I have to say that my experiences with basket sharks in the Isle of Man have been the top <laughs> the top experiences you know the, they're so enormous they're so they've got such a kind of prehistoric feel to them and you just feel there's um, that yeah there's something really amazing to be in close proximity to such a, a, a large creature with such a you know fascinating um, life and evolutionary history so yeah I would say that basket sharks are they're definitely up there in, in my top <laughs> marine creatures.